Jack the Ripper. What is Jack the Ripper? <laughs> By Claudia O'Doherty. Hello. You're watching video two of a possibly endless series of videos about England I'm hosting for the O'Doherty World Travel Travel Agency website. Hold up. Who are you? I'm Claudia O'Doherty, one of Australia's most serious actors. And illusionists. My family's travel agency is in trouble. Why? Because no one uses travel agents anymore. No, of course not. Now people just book their holidays on the internet. It's much more straightforward. So I've come to England to make some viral travel videos for their website to save the business. That's pretty sweet of you. You're doing great. Thank you. Bye. I'm staying in the home of my cousin Sarah and her husband Mark. They don't mind having me here. Whoop. You win. What are you guys talking about? Jack the Ripper thought so. If for some reason you do decide to holiday in England, the locals will talk to you about Jack the Ripper because they are obsessed. So the thing with Jack the Ripper is he's a killer, but everyone in England loves him, but is also scared of him and they still don't know who he is. So I've decided to do something the British could never be bothered to do and muck in and solve the mystery of Jack the Ripper once and for all. Ladies and gentlemen, we are standing in one of London's most beautiful streets. But in 1888, these streets ran red with blood. Ah! <laughs> I began my journey in East London to take part in a Jack the Ripper tour. In the time of the Ripper, this building was a doss house. And even today, it houses the most decrepit, destitute, lowest of the low. Today, it houses students. <laughs> Sadly. Yeah. Our tour guide was a real show pony. Back in the 19th century, this street was very different. Over there was a cobbler, here a butcher's, and over there... Fresh fish for sale! Oh. I've pulled the finest eels up from the Thames. You, uh... It's all right, I'm an actor. I carry the eels in my filthy petticoats. Dear me, ladies and gentlemen, a lunatic from the asylum appears to have joined us. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just a fishwife. I'm fine mentally. Now, down here, you can get the finest Ruby Murray in all of London's East End. And if you mention my name, you will get a 15% discount. I don't think we need a discount, cos we're not dumb students. Right, everyone? Yeah, students. Let him get on with it. Well, you're all creeps for even coming on this tour. I had to do it for the website I'm working on. But you've all paid to come and see where a bunch of actual people actually got killed. And you've got the most blood on your hands out of everyone because you're getting paid for it. So you're all enablers, you're all Rosemary West, and you are Fred West. You are Fred West. Everybody was absolutely amazed I knew who Fred and Rosemary West were. In the spirit of forgiveness, I decided to give the tour guide a second chance. Well, well, well. Look who has come crawling back. You requested the interview. Let's try to move on from the past and focus on Jack the Ripper. When did you become a criminologist and when did you start hunting the British folk hero Jack the Ripper? <laughs> Never. I'm, I'm not a criminologist. I'm an actor. No, I'm an actor. OK. Well, I'm also an actor. I lead the tours to make ends meet. I'm sure you understand what that's like as a fellow thespian. No, I just get money from my parents. What's your name? I need it for the video. Jeremy Parker. Jeremy. Uh, were your parents big Pearl Jam fans? No. Fine. OK. Um, why did you decide to earn your living from the deaths of innocent women? <laughs> Admittedly, it is a bit grisly, but people do find true crime fascinating. Have you ever considered the possibility that Jack the Ripper went to Australia? Well, there are lots of different theories. Is it not possible that in order to evade the authorities, the Ripper possessed a beautiful young convict woman who then went to Australia and was really weird because she was possessed? Well... That sounds scary. I wonder what that would look like. What, what do you call it here? 
That was a short film I made for my mum's birthday three years ago. It seemed relevant. So far in my hunt to find Jack the Ripper, I had met nothing but dead ends. It's really bad. I need to find Jack the Ripper to make this video special, which will make everyone click on it, which will save O'Doherty world travel. The stakes couldn't be higher. So I decided to use the most powerful murderer hunting tool I possess, my brain. Who could it have been? Who was Jack the Ripper? Stabbing. There's blood everywhere. I'm an actor. No, oh, I'm an actor. You see it. Go on the internet. Worldwide. Use any search engine. Check the internet. And then it came to me. I'd done it. I figured out who Jack the Ripper was. According to my research, Jack the Ripper was a man named... It was Matthew Carter, Whitechapel resident. So it's done, it's done. You can stop doing the tours now, it's done. Salut! That was Jack the Ripper by Claudia O'Doherty.